Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we are going to discuss the second stimulus, unemployment, hazard pay, student loans, IRS dependent checks, rental assistance, and a partridge in a pear tree, guys. If you want to know what is going on in the world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below, and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because it's Thursday. Yeah, like the day before Friday. Like it was, let's see here. Twas the night before stimulus. Not a creature was stirring. Okay, nothing. All right, so guys, we all know that it's one day before the Friday deadline to reach a deal on the next round of stimulus. And yeah, we're still gonna be waiting. Like at this point, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any checks to 2028. What is taking so long? My goodness, I don't understand it. I don't get it. Right now they're going back and forth. And if, if it's the unemployment that's holding, like what is going on? Can we just all get along? Can we just play some music, be merry, order some more lunch, get DoorDash with their 78 cents increase to deliver? Can we not get this passed or can we not just come up with some type of agreement before tomorrow? Who knows, doesn't look like it. According to Nancy Pelosi though, she says, I feel optimistic that there is light at the end of the tunnel but how long that tunnel is remains to be seen. What, Nancy? Oh my gosh, like we are not, this is not the last of the Mohicans. Like we're not gonna be walking forever down this tunnel. Nancy, I need you to come on. I need some agreement to go along. You know what, Republicans give them the $600. That way you guys go on your vacation. Now guys, as we know right now, a lot of them have went home today or if they haven't they should be going home this evening but of course if something is in agreement they have no problem at all with flying back but as of right now there is still nothing on the deal pelosi and schumer they are still remaining firm in their 600 dollars per week for unemployment and they demanded generous child care assistance as well as they reiterated the demand for food stamps and assistance to workers and homeowners facing evictions for foreclosures so nancy pelosi i mean she has been hard pressed for it she says look don't nickel and dime our children don't say we want to give a tax break to to a business lunch and not give more money to children to have food stamps i mean i agree 100 percent with her like of course but I mean, how long are we gonna wait for this? Like 40 days and 40 nights? How long are we gonna wait? Like it's already been two weeks. Like can someone start giving a little bit more bargaining at this point? Just, just give it to her. Like Republicans, if you're listening, just, just give it to her. Give her, let the people have it. We need it. The unemployment report says we need it. Look, let's just go on, okay? Because as of right now, no new news. All right, so as far as the IRS, guys, a lot of people were like, hey, what are you talking about these checks? What, what is going on? The IRS has begun to rectify the economic impact amounts for individuals who did not receive all the money that they were eligible for back in March. So when we received the first CARES Act payments of the $1,200, a lot of people were missing their dependent pay on their stimulus checks. So now the IRS has started depositing those into accounts and just say, hey, if you did not get yours in your in your account, you will start. They will start issuing out checks on Friday, which is tomorrow. So, the guidance this week, the agency the agency said it will start issuing direct deposits, which people have received, and the missing five hundred dollars per qualifying child will be sent out and debit cards on Friday. Now, I don't think they're going back to these debit cards, but that's what the guidance says. The big news is here. Hey, check your mail, check your accounts. If you have money, great. Celebrate like it's 1999. If you don't have money, just wait a little bit longer. It's coming through snail mail. Some type of stork is going to deliver it and you'll get your money that way. Okay. But pretty much it's for the people that use the non filers tool before May 17th. Now, if you used it before, after May 17th, then you still owe some money then hey, the IRS may get down on your block, your row, your mailbox, but you may have to call them, okay? So, and that remember was for like the children that were like 
under what 17 17 or under at that point so they will do follow-up payments as well and then they will be received as well so keep on looking out hey that's a nice little bonus money i mean since we're still waiting on the stimulus my goodness it's better to have something at this point i need a child who wants to give me a loan matter of fact i'm gonna call jg whitworth all right so guys let's go ahead and jump into unemployment 877 cash now all right, all right, just had to do it. All right, so for unemployment, for the 20th straight week, the number of Americans who have lost their jobs and filed for unemployment insurance has topped 1 million. Now, just to put things into perspective, prior to the pandemic, the record for weekly unemployment filings was 695,000 for one week, and that was back in 1982. Hmm, seemed like it was a good year. I wasn't born, but seemed like it. Let me know what you were doing in 1982. Look, I think what maybe was Run DMC at that time. I don't know. Let me know. Guys, give me a history fact or an artifact down below in the comments. And um, so that was the last time it was 695,000. Now, in the last week of March, that was smashed by nearly tenfold as 6.9 million Americans filed for unemployment insurance in that one single week. And that was the last week of March. So according to Gary Bertless, he's an economist, he said this is far more serious than anything we've ever seen experienced to my knowledge in the suddenness of the rise in unemployment. So guys, with all this information that's coming out at this point, are we really negotiating like these numbers are high, they've been like this for the past 20 weeks at, at this point, give, give the fool $600 and let's go like go on, move on with it at this point. All right, so also the IRS is back in the news once again, and they said that they wanted to warn tax preparers or warning unemployment recipients that you could owe the IRS next year. So tax preparers are concerned that the millions of Americans receiving unemployment benefits because of what's going on to the pandemic are unaware that they may owe money. So when people apply for the unemployment benefits, you have the option to go ahead and elect to have 10% out of each paycheck withheld for federal income taxes. But tax professionals say that some people may not know how to sign up for this. And then for those that do know how to sign up, on the other hand, a lot of people are just like, no, I need my money, I need it now, we'll worry about that 10%. So there, the tax professionals are warning you that, hey, if you would like to not pay taxes out of your unemployment benefits, then it may be very costly for you on the next tax season. So just keep that in mind for those that are getting unemployment. Let me know down in the comments below, do you elect to have the 10% out or no? Nah? I'm sure most people are aware, but you know what, at this point, you know, the IRS made us wait. If you owe them, hey, they'll, you know, don't, what I hold on, don't mess with the IRS now. Three people we don't mess with is the I, the R, and the S. But, you know, if you just want to, you know, just ruffle a little feathers, all right, I'm not going to say that because then they'll be coming like bamming on your door and they'll take everything. So, no, guys, elect if you can afford it to do your 10%. If not, worry about that later. All right, so moving along regarding hazard pay, um, a lot of people have asked, will hazard pay be included in the next bill? And as of right now, as the negotiations have continued for the next stimulus package, it doesn't appear that they have been talking about hazard pay. Now we know hazard pay is like the additional compensation for like our frontline workers or people who just even perform hazardous tasks or even work involving physical hardship. That's according to the Department of Labor. But members of Congress and White House officials are continuing to negotiate only the next stimulus package. So as of right now, it doesn't seem like it is a big deal or a top priority for hazard pay. So I'm sorry for all those that have continued to work, myself included. It doesn't look like we're going to get hazard pay, but thank you so much for your service. The American people really greatly appreciate it. That's just coming from me. Okay, so... Take it as what you want, but I thank you and I appreciate every grocery store, healthcare worker, anyone that has worked during this pandemic, from my heart to yours, seriously. Alrighty, so uh, President Trump, actually he notified his staff to work on, so pretty much with everything that's still going on, right, with the whole negotiating, um, President Trump is actually departing for Ohio, and before he left, he tweeted, on there, he said, I've notified my staff to continue working on an executive order with respect to payroll tax cut, eviction protections, unemployment extensions, and student loan repayment options. 
Now, this is something new, right? Because we haven't really been talking about the student loan repayment options. President Trump supports simplifying the federal student loan repayment plan just to avoid any confusion amongst the borrowers and to make it easier for them to manage. Now, he does not support student loan forgiveness outright, which a lot of people have asked for. So he does think that maybe there could be a little bit of extension, maybe, you know, no payments until next year. But as far as like canceling out or that $10,000, no, no point bueno. Now, the Hills Act did have one proposal for student loan repayment. And that was on Tuesday, Senator Lamar Alexander proposed on the Senate floor that could result in zero student loan payments. And so Alexander, he is the Senate Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee. Okay, that's a title right there, a lot of health, education, okay. But anyway, he proposed this. He said that, hey, if you have no income, you don't make a payment, which I thought it was already something like that anyway, but okay, you know what? We're just gonna steal it. Um, when you start earning income, your monthly student loan repayment will be capped at 10% of your income. You will get student loan forgiveness after 20 years for undergraduate student loans and then after 25 years for graduate student loans. The months that you paid $0, so even if you don't have no income and you're paying $0, those will still count towards the 20 or 25 years of the student loan forgiveness. Now, this student, this proposal applies to existing and new student loan borrowers, and then, or the other option is borrowers can pay off their student loans in 10 years. So pretty much, I don't know if that was new or just something we just went in, you know, control F and copy, but hey, if you don't have any income, you don't have to pay. That's what he proposed. Now, we know in the CARES Act, um, well, there, we just have the extension for the six months, but in the HEROES Act, they have where you can get $10,000. So I don't know, this is the first time today that really student loans has been brought up. Maybe that's in the negotiations. Maybe that's what's taking so long. I don't know. Let me know what do you think about the student loan repayment. I thought, and correct me if I'm wrong, I thought that if you didn't have income anyway, as long as you contacted the student loan provider, they put you on a 0% payments anyway like you weren't in default status and it counts good on your credit report so where did you get this from senator alexander where let me know all right and last but not least we'll jump into rental assistance daytona beach florida has allocated an additional 2.5 million to help local residents struggling to make housing payments during the pandemic to qualify you must have been current prior to march 13th 2020 and then you must be located in volusia in Daytona Beach, whatever that county is, okay? You have to be there and it must be where your primary residence is located. Of course, they have the eligibility for like income criteria as well. But if you are approved, you can get up to $1,500 for a maximum of three months. One thing I'll say is this, Florida has gotten it right. I don't know all these different counties and cities in Florida every time you look up they're giving out stimulus checks they have different payment plans they have a lot of different things so for those that reside in florida if you still are looking for um any rental assistance dial 211 and if you don't you know dial 211 if there's nothing available guys i mean you see the rental assistance list is getting shorter and shorter and that's just because it's nothing out there like everyone is using the funds except for like nevada and um New York, New York slash day today to apply as well. And it was other places, whatever other place that y'all haven't been applying for. Those are the places. But um, that is it, guys. <laughs> that is all I have in the stimulus news. Who knows? You know what? We will see. Tomorrow is a big day, but it seems like they may be delaying the recess anyway, you know, so to get everything worked out for the American people. So, Fingers are crossed, okay, that everything works out and that the money will still come by the end of this month. You guys have a great day. This is Friday Eve, so definitely enjoy with your friends, family, and I hope you all are doing well. Um, if you didn't check, check out my stories on 
YouTube? Yeah, check out my stories and follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram information down below. Follow me on Instagram, but I did post stories on there showing where I go to the different thrift stores because a lot of people always ask about my clothing. So yeah, I am balling on a budget. All right, thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you manana. Bye guys.